Welcome to the Chilliwack Archives. My name is Sarah Maleska and I will be your tour guide today. The Chilliwack Archives are located in the Evergreen Hall in Chilliwack, British Columbia, Canada. We're open from 8.30 until 4.30, Monday to Friday. This video will explain the function of the archives in Chilliwack and hopefully will inspire you to come visit us and discover some of Chilliwack's fascinating local history. Archives. Now what exactly are archives? The dictionary definition is archives, a place where public records or other historical documents are kept. However, this doesn't completely describe the Chilliwack archives as here we also have an extensive collection of artifacts pertaining to the local history of Chilliwack in addition to numerous historical documents. Now, where do we get all of this stuff? The answer is through the people and businesses of Chilliwack. Our job is to restore and maintain all the artifacts, documents, maps, and photographs that our donators have entrusted to us, as well as helping the public with viewing these delicate records when doing their own research. As well as storing and maintaining Chilliwack's history, the archives play a role in conserving the cultures of years gone by. Now let's start our tour. The first section of the archives is the public section. If a guest or researcher visits us, the first thing they do is sign in with Shannon, who as well as being our archivist, is also in control of registering visitors. After being registered, guests can access our historical library which is a good place to start researching, especially if you don't know exactly what you're looking for. In addition to the library, guests also have access to the filing cabinets in which Chilliwack families are listed, as well as other miscellaneous subjects in these filing cabinets here. There is also a guest and volunteer computer that can be used to access our records online, as well as for scanning pictures and documents. In this corner, we have the maps. There are hundreds of maps here, varying from geographical to political and thematic maps. The maps can be fragile though, so you have to wear gloves while you're using them. We also have a wide range of books for sale relating to Chilliwack. Now we're entering the areas of the archives which you will need help accessing. First is the microfiche machine. While you won't have us hovering over your shoulder while you're operating it, you'll have to get us to find the microfilm you want to use. Exiting the main room of the archives will lead us into the main collection of documents and photos. The documents and photos are kept in boxes so they won't have any light damage, therefore helping them last for a long time. The storage methods used in archives are very efficient because really, there isn't an unlimited amount of space and we have to be able to grow as we receive more donations. These rolling shelves maximize the storage space and they're used throughout this section as well as for the artifacts. The artifact room. Because of the fact that artifacts can't be stacked like documents can, the artifact room needs to be big. Here on the rolling shelves are the framed photograph, document, and painting collection. As you can see, there is a lot of room to grow. This computer is used by the summer student. These are the large items, and as you can see, it's pretty cramped, but one of the challenges of archiving is space usage, therefore space is found when there is a need. In all of these rolling shelves are thousands of artifacts, big and small. As I said earlier, all of these artifacts have some connection to Chilliwack, which is pretty amazing considering the short time span we've had to collect artifacts. Like the document and photo collection, artifacts are best preserved in a dark setting. Also, although you can't tell, the climate is very closely controlled and monitored. The optimal humidity is 50% plus or minus 5% and the best temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. 
The climate is a very important factor which affects the longevity of artifacts and documents. Because Chilliwack is located in a valley that is close to sea level, there is the potential for damaging floods to occur. But the biggest concern for the archives is the mighty Fraser River. Almost every year there is concern about the river breaching its banks. The most damaging flood in recent history occurred in 1948 with numerous farmers fields being inundated and forcing many Chilliwackians to flee to higher ground. My house would have been flooded up to the eaves troughs. In the case of a flood or any other threat where there is some forewarning, the most valuable artifacts and documents would be transported to higher ground and the building sandbagged with hopes of protecting the rest. Thankfully, an extensive diking system has been installed and there hasn't been a flood like that in a long time. In conclusion, the Chilliwack Archives constitutes one of the essential organizations of the community. Not only does it preserve and restore artifacts and documents of importance to Chilliwack's history, but it also allows us to connect more personally with the history of one's community, particularly its culture. These artifacts and documents are really here to transport us back in time to an era different from our own and allow us to connect with people who are very different, yet not so different from ourselves. Each item and picture has a story, and as the archives continue to collect these pieces, the story of Chilliwack can be discovered.